Hi everyone, I'm Jessica, how are you? Welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make the chain blocks in the Avery quilt. So this is the second video for the Avery quilt along. In the first video we made the heart blocks and in this video I'll be showing you the chain blocks. Let's get started. For this chain block, I'm doing a slight modification from the pattern and I'll explain that to you and it shouldn't affect your assembly at all. You'll still understand what you need to do. So the modification is this. When I made the sample and designed the pattern, I planned for a four patch as the middle of the chain. Two of them were red and two of them were pink and it carried on with the diagonals through the quilt. I planned it that way because this is meant to be a scrappy quilt or so it was designed. However, this time around, I'm not doing my chain blocks scrappy. So instead of starting with four squares for the center and sewing them together in a four patch, I'm starting with one larger square. And so this is what my first round will look like then. This would be a four patch for you. That's how the pattern is written and how the instructions are given. And then you take your four patch and you frame it with these rectangles and other squares. When you're actually doing this, um, you want to make sure that your colors are in line. So I know right now I'm only using white, which makes it a little bit difficult to see, but this is the block I'm making for my quilt, so we're just gonna talk through it. If my reds were here and my pinks were here, or whatever colors you're using, I'd wanna make sure that this was also red, because I want a straight line of reds. And then if my pinks were here, I'd make sure that these were pink. So I have a straight line of pinks. And then you'll just sew this together. So you can do this a couple of ways. If you have a bunch of four patches made, you can chain piece. You'll take a small rectangle in whatever color your background is and sew that on. You could chain piece all those rectangles onto your four patches and then cut the thread, turn around the whole line of them and then chain piece the other rectangle on the side of your four patch. And then you'll have a whole line of pieces that look like this. Now, when you're doing this other piece, this will be the top and the bottom of our center unit. It's gonna look like this. One side will be red and one side will be pink if that's how you're doing it. And you can chain piece the top bottoms too. So you would just put one of your squares on top of your back, background rectangle and just sew these through. Since I'm only making one block, I only have two of these, but it's the same idea. You would just continue this for as many as you had. Then you'll cut your thread, turn it around, and you'll add your other square. And it won't matter if one side's red and one side's pink, it won't matter. Um, what one you put on each side because you can just turn it around and use it. So for example, if for some reason I put a pink here and I needed the pink to be in a different spot, I would just turn it around when I'm assembling and it'll still work. So one color on one side, one color on the other side. Then when you come to put this center together here, You're just going to make sure you're, take a look at it like this, make sure that your colors are in your diagonal and then carefully flip it over so that they are still matching. Lay it on top and then sew across here. Then you'll cut your thread, you'll turn it around and you'll do it for the other side. And again, I like to just look at it for a minute. Here I'm doing white, so it doesn't matter. But if I had the two colors, I would look at it for a minute. I'd make sure I'm still in line. And then I would carefully flip it over so that everything stays in line. Then you would be left with your center of your block so far. Now, if this was, like I said, colored, you'd have a diagonal this way and a diagonal of another color this way. The next step is to just add another round. So very simply, it's the exact same process. The pieces are just a little bit bigger. So we're going to sew a rectangle onto our center. I like to put the not pieced one down, uh, but really it's the same. It's just personal preference. 
so I just get it lined up, take a minute to fix it all, and then sew across. You do that for the whole line of them, and then you would sew a rectangle onto the, other, the opposite side. And this is what you're left with. So then we need to make and add top and bottom units, which are the exact same as these. The center rectangle is just longer. So we'll do two of those. And again, great, great, great for chain piecing. So you can just put your square on top. Chain piece them all through as many as you need to make for the week or however, if you're just doing this quilt, not in the quilt along. Um, you can just chain piece them all and then repeat that on the other side for all of the pieces that you have. And then you'll cut your threads in between each one and then you could sew, start sewing these onto your block. So this is what mine looks like so far. And if you wanted to press it every step you can, I, I don't, I just finger press as I go. And you'll just sew this on. Normally I would be, you know, making this as a scrappy version, but I have probably one, two, three, four scrap quilts going at the moment and I thought this would be a nice change to just use solids here but I love that the flexibility you know the flexibility of that you can decide what to do on each quilt as you go and this is what our chain block lo block looks like then so this is what my chain block looks like. And again, this is a non-scrappy version of it. In the original quilt when I designed it, the center is a four patch and it's two different colors. So one color has a diagonal going this way and the other color has a diagonal going this way. But I'm choosing to use white for my chains on this one and blue for my background, which is really different from the first one that I made, which was pink and red with a white background. So this is what all my chain blocks will look like. And then this is what my heart blocks will look like, which is what we made in the last video together. These are gonna sit side by side like that, and the chains will frame around these hearts. So that is it for the block making videos of this quilt along. Uh, for the first four weeks of the quilt along, we're block making nonstop. <laughs> uh, it depends what size you're making, but I decided to go with the queen, so I need 90 of these and 110 of these. Uh, so that will keep me busy. And then I'll also be doing an assembly video uh, towards the end of the quilt along. The final week is assembly. And there'll be a video that you can watch for that. So if you have any questions on making either of these blocks, just let me know. And if not, I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for following along.